That is unfair and it is wrong. And you cast that doubt on all the people that worked on this contract. A bitter dispute at the highest levels of Jefferson Parish government blew up at today's council meeting today. Good evening. I'm Katie Moore. And I'm Sharice Gibson. At that meeting, parish officials went back and forth over a contract for bus advertisements. Yeah, they traded accusations of corruption and took hours to finally come to an agreement about it. Rachel Hanley explains how it all unfolded. I'm trying to make not make this personal. Mm -hmm. I really am. Wednesday was a rare heated day at Jefferson Parish Council. Not if you want. No, no, I'm here. sorry. Hold Don't on. interrupt me. You can leave your feelings at home. This is all about who gets to advertise on the parish's buses. Last month, council members picked fuel media over vector media for the contract. Then parish president Cynthia Lee Shang's office said it couldn't come to an agreement with fuel. It asked council member at large Jennifer Van Branken to introduce an agenda item to start over. She refused. In a video statement, she said the situation smelled rotten. I need your help to expose this because good government is at stake. That was Monday. Then on Wednesday morning, before the council could even get to its agenda, the issue boiled over. I think the one thing that we can all do better um, is communicate. This is not a communication issue. This is an issue of a fundamental difference in how we believe government runs. Lee Shang accused Van Branken of trying to make a unilateral decision about the contract. She also criticized her public statements on the issue. I have two children, and since I've taken office, I have told them, your mother might make mistakes, your mother might disagree with other people, but she will never see my name in the newspaper as a corrupt politician. And guess what? After that, Van Branken called Fuel Media's Vice President Cheryl Anderson to the podium. She and council members went back and forth about the contract. You're now telling us that you're not able to pay the 20 something thousand a month, and by virtue of that, you would have to agree that we are at an impasse. I did not know that um, I would be perceived as being at an impasse. By the time council finally took a vote, many in the room were visibly frustrated. Councilwoman Bohannon? Yes. In the end, the council did end up voting to move forward with Vector Media rather than try to keep negotiating with Fuel Media. That means the fight is settled for now. But the bad blood between Jefferson Parish's top brass could last a lot longer. Rachel Handley, WWL Louisiana. And the council will meet again September 11th.